uh, if the, the first call would have come through that said, hey, there's people trapped, we would have had the paramedic unit arriving a lot faster than when it did. So accurate information, knowing your location and, and what, what type of emergency it is. And God forbid, John, someone is actually trapped in a burning car. What steps can you take to get out of that situation? The, the first thing is staying calm. Find where your windows and doors are. Try your doors. Uh, unbuckle yourself from the seatbelt and uh, remove yourself as fast as you can. Of course, assisting anybody else who might be trapped in the car. You know, they have tools that are out there. You know, they... Well, John, thank you so much. And we appreciate all your advice. What John's talking about is something literally like this. NOV8 makes the Life Hammer and Rescue Me escape tools. Both have a device that can cut through your seatbelt and another side that can break through window glass. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how these cutting edge tools work. So I'm going to use some right. safety gear. These are not my driving glasses. Be careful. All right, guys. Wish me luck. So be careful. Are we going to light it on fire for real? <laughs> we're not going to light it on fire. <laughs> too big for the car. <laughs> but what's really important is this very small tool. It actually has a cutting edge. So you can keep this on your keychain, and when you take this off, it exposes a cutting edge to this tool. Now, again, you may not in a burning car have access to gloves like these. I'm using these strictly for my own protection. But what you're going to do is, first things first, you've got to free yourself. Because a lot of times you're trapped in a car and this seat belt will literally have you pinned in difficulty breathing. You may even be hanging upside down. You've got to be calm. Take this cutting edge that you see right there. Take the most accessible point of the seat belt and try to cut through without cutting yourself. You now once that's happened, you can pull this out and I'm now free. There's another side of this that has a pin that will break part of the glass view. And just like that, and then if you need to, you can take your foot, clear out the glass, and then exit the car. Woo. It's important. It's important to be prepared. So NOV8 has given each member of our audience one of these tools to put in your car. <laughs> Believe it or not, the average person will be in a car crash once every 10 years. To prepare you, here are some accident safety tips. After an accident, pull out of the traffic, turn off the ignition, do a first aid check of all people in your car, apply first aid. Call 911, get help on the way. And unless you're in a burning car, don't move injured passengers because you may aggravate injuries. Turn on hazard lights and mark the scene with flare or cones, and then gather the names of people and vehicles around you and any witnesses to the crash. And if you do drive today, buckle up all the time. Get the cell phone away from you and obey all the laws to avoid accidents in the first place.